In this video, we're going to review how to set up the oscillator. Um, this oscillator is a 3100A. This one is specifically for the neonatal population. Um, there uh, is a checklist up on top and a calibration checklist on the side. Um, you're going to use the checklist on top first, which is the pre-patient hookup checklist, and then the calibration um, one after you've gone through the first one. So we're going to make sure that our gas sources are hooked up to oxygen and air and we are plugged into a red outlet. Um, I'm going to make sure everything is um, plugged in correctly. These are color, color coordinated. This should uh, be hooked up um, when you go ahead and grab the ventilator. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the ventilator on, which is the power button that's on the front. And then I'm going to go ahead and look at the patient calibration checklist. What it wants us to make sure is, is that there's a green stopper in line. Our bias flow is set to 20. And then our mean pressure knob limit is set to max. So once that is um, confirmed, then we go ahead and start up the machine. So you would pull this down and then press start. And then we have it going. There is a piston knob um, and, and it's to ensure that the piston is actually centered. So if you look, I'm actually trying to center it right now, as centered as possible. And then from there we go about the settings, the alarm silence is there. And the reason why it's alarming is because my alarm limits are off. We'll wait on that just a second. And I can go ahead and adjust my settings accordingly. I have frequency, my hertz, I have my inspiratory time percent, and then I have my amps, which I adjust um, by unlocking it and adjusting the power button. Now my mean pressure, let's say we want it to 20. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this knob down until my mean gets to about 20. And then for the alarms, we want it five above and five below. So right now it's at 25 and then 15. Now in the event that um, you do have a circuit disconnection, you would have this power fail. It'll start alarming on us. You go ahead and um, troubleshoot the vent, silence the alarm, hold down this button to see the pressure build, and then it would start. And that's it.